Hey guys, and welcome back to more Dying Light. Oh, so there's one of those big guys on there. So, so him. Lift the load this time. You do want to kill him because it's going to take a while for that load to even lift, so. Okay. Not a way into the jet room there. Here? Perfect. I like how that was just smoking. Good job. Alright, now head back to the decontamination room. This you know, I suspect even if Sarah had been able to leave the quarantine, he wouldn't have. He and the operative both felt the need to stay and help people. I guess we'll go back the way we came. Yeah. Huh, I wonder if the operative was the guy who saved my life. That's what I'm suspecting. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I bet you a hundred hundred bucks that the operative was the guy who saved me. <laughs> Come on, let's go through. Okay, no, it will work our way back over here. That's a dead end, we have to go this way. At least we don't have all the dead ends and stuff this time. That's very interesting, though, that there was another, another GRE member. Oh. So I never actually gave that a thought that we weren't the first they sent into the quarantine. Probably not going to do anything to them. Okay. I guess it will. I don't know what it's decontaminating for. I don't really want to go in there that bad now. Do I have to be decontaminated? Oh, both sides All open. Right. Okay. Is he just pass? Oh, he's straight past. Okay. Crane, glad to be finally shaking hands with you. Now, let's have those tissue samples, shall we? Doc, you mind if I show you a photo? No, 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 just, just, just one minute. I wonder what photo he's talking about. All right, we'll just let that run. That's gonna take quite a while. Okay. Now, what, uh, what was it you wanted to say? Hey. That's him. That, that, that's the GRE operative I was telling you about. What's his name? Amir. Yes, yes, Amir Goreshi. What are you doing with a picture of him? We, uh, we had a mutual friend. The samples are still viable. That's I was good. right. With some luck, your trip here won't have been for nothing. Uh, where's the rest of the data, by the way? I know Zara prepared two packages. Yeah, I'll have to get back to you on that, Doc. Right now I have some GRE shitheads to confront. GRE? 
brain you watch yourself around them. Their public face is a lie of epic proportions. Those people are all heartless, lying bastards. I hear you, Doug, and thanks. I'll be in touch. <laughs> Close this door just in case anything else happens. I want my friend to be compromised. I don't think I can do anything about those doors, so. So yeah, going through. And we can head out. Oh, what? We didn't... Okay, you didn't really have to do that. That's a little bit excessive. But... The only thing is now Dr. Camden's not really safe against her eyes. Her eyes can just go in there and do whatever. I met Camden. He was very excited to see Zara's samples. He says if he can get the rest of Zara's data, there might actually be hope of finding a cure. Oh, yeah, and I forgot to tell you guys, like... Oh, it's probably gonna have a radio thing here. Or cut. Nope. Not yet. Listen, Crane, I gotta yep. reiterate. You better watch your back, your front, and both sides with those GRE bastards. They'll screw you if they get the chance. I know, Doc. I'll be careful. I just need to figure out where things stand. Okay, so we're gonna do the old style. Go somewhere and contact the jury. Anyway, though, I was there's one thing I actually didn't mention in one of the other videos. So in um, the video where we meet, where we're confronting Rise again, when we're trying to get Jade, he says like we're listening to all your conversations. That's how we knew where to find Jade. Blah blah. blah. It's like I suspected that all along because when you call someone, you go Troy. Are you there? Unless. <laughs> Unless everybody's using a different frequency, there's no reason why other people can't use it. And then, it's a radio, so it means anybody can use that frequency. So, I think that's a little bit um, hogwashy that they wouldn't have figured that out. So. Thought this was a safe house? It must be. Is this one of the safe houses we had to figure out how to get inside? Okay, so it is a safe. I thought there'd be a hole or something, but I don't see a hole or anything in the roof. Oh, down here? There we go. Oh, so this is the main. Well, not the main area, but a lot of guys are here. And I do want to make a deal, because I have a lot of stuff to sell you. <laughs> I'll also keep it up build shotgun. But. That's the rifle that's equipped. The rest of these can all be sold. Oh, I forgot. Those were like the stuff I was carrying was just useless crap. But it doesn't really matter. Military machete. Is it any good? No. None of this stuff is any good. So. It's nighttime and I didn't ask to get anything for surviving the night, but whatever. We will, however, get a lot of stuff for turning on solid because we we had a lot of stuff. Yep, ninety-seven thousand. <laughs> We're almost actually to another level because that's how much we got there. So yeah, guess we'll get to it yourself grenades. You've now learned to craft do it yourself grenades. Well, they make an explosion, so don't think I'm really that. Like, put it this way, I'm not going to run out and go bake them with the big explosion they're going to make, but, oh, you can make all kinds of grenades. But anyway, just a slower cleaver, I guess. We're going to put, hmm, I say we'll carry the shotgun, or how much ammo do we have for it? I guess we could equip it and we need to find out how much I'm on. Oh. Looks pretty comfortable. Well, we don't really need more than two weapons anyway, so we'll carry it around for a bit. So, I guess we do have a little bit of survivor points to claim from being outside during the night. So. Good enough. So we gotta go contact the GRE. Okay, now we can check. We have 20 rounds. So I guess that's okay. 
<coughs> oh, and we've still have max recharges on them, so that's all well and good. Come on. Oh, if, if sometimes you don't succeed because he just fell through one to that little area there, but I guess I could have just F helped out her, is what I should have done. Perfect. And I'm not even going the right direction. Or I think I probably passed the location. Oh, it is there. Not that tall, but one of those flags. I don't have many of the flags. The flags are on top of tall structures, and that is how you get them. Hey, Troy, I give the samples to Dr. Camden. Now I'm going to go have a little talk with the GRE. And what are you going to tell them? Everything. I'll meet you later, Troy. This is Crane. Do you copy? Kyle Crane. You can hear me, can you not? Rise. Where are you? Exactly where I should be atop my own tower. Of course, mine is not quite complete, but it still stands as a monument to chaos, to entropy, to what it means to be ruled only by oneself. I'll kill you for what you did to Jade. For everything, I'll fucking kill you! I had hoped that would be your attitude. You see, we are at war, you and I. A war of opposing philosophies. A war to see whose vision of the world proves true. Come, Gray. Come and challenge me. What is it you Americans are so fond of saying? I dare you. You know what? Forget it. There is no war. There's only your fucked up outlook. Go to hell. Oh, no, 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 no. I won't be going to hell. I will be leaving around all you see. I have made a deal with our GRE brothers using your very own communicator, no less. They know I have all of Dr. Zera's research data. They call it the keys to the kingdom. Very shortly, a helicopter will come and take me away. Imagine the damage I shall be able to do outside the confines of these walls. Of course, if you think you can stop me. You crazy son of a bitch! That is what I had hoped to hear. Come and find me, Crane. Let us finish what we began. <laughs> so I didn't actually notice it, but there's blueprint executioner up here, so that's good. Now the blueprint is always well worth it. So executioner. Oh, that's locked the cutter. Probably just up yeah, there. So medium electricity. Spiving cup, skill point achieved. We may as well go for the oh, where is it? Here and we'll go for the trap bombs. So yeah, let's go find Rise. Is it that broken one over there? That's my guess. Actually, so it's not the tower I was thinking of. <laughs> so, what's this? The third of Rise Fortresses I'm attacking? I don't even see why these people, why is people follow him at this point? I could see at the beginning why they followed him because he had a huge promise of like. Well, pretty much a, just a promise of general well-being. Oops. So yeah, the Spider-Man, you're not totally immune from that from fall damage, but a lot of it's absorbed. Normally that would fall would have killed me, but no, I'm past it again. Which tower is it that he's in? 
and I keep passing it. Like, the reason I guess I'm passing it is because I think it's going to be rather close. Unless I'm getting turned around, which I don't think is the case. Particularly, but... Just up there? That's not a tower! This is not a tower! Oh! You had to go through the sewers to get to his tower. Okay. Rice made a deal with the GRE. Now he's about to escape from Haran with the rest of Zara's research. I can't let that happen, and Rice knows it. So, okay. They could have said, go through the sewers to Rice's tower. Because, yeah, I was looking for an actual tower. Down way this way. Some mission extraction. Anyway, guys, I think call it an episode here. We'll be back in the next episode for more. Thanks, guys. Later.